大家好，我是 All Brand Stylin. So if you exercise regularly and intensively, you probably have bought many sports drinks, and on that might have said the word electrolytes. What does that mean? Or what does that do for you? Do you really need it? I'm going to explain to you in this video exactly what you need to know about electrolytes. So electrolytes is just a fancy term that just basically means minerals that's dissolved in some liquid. That's usually sodium, calcium,、uh, chloride, magnesium, potassium, phosphate. And so the most important, by far, is sodium. So if you've ever sweated profusely、um, and your whole shirt is wet from your sweat. After it starts to dry, you'll start seeing a lot of salt stains, right? This is very, very natural,、um, and that is sodium. And so, when you sweat a lot, you lose not just the water content from your sweat, but also the sodium. And so, this is why it's a very important mineral that you need to replenish, because it helps prevent hyponatremia. And this is a condition where, if you don't have enough salt in the body, you can actually go into shock, and it can be very dangerous for your health and life. Now. Just as a warning, I am going to have to go into a little bit of the chemistry now, the biochemistry, so that you can understand the importance of sodium. So we all know that water is a very important part of the the human body, but so is salt because it helps to move the the water inside your body from areas to area. So if you don't have enough salt intake from sweating profusely, then you don't have enough salt, and the body won't be able to move the water around where it needs to be. This is why people who are Doing a lot of endurance sports, they're just drinking water. They can actually go into hyponatremia, which is lack of salt, and that actually can cause death because your body doesn't know what to do with the water. It can't retain the water. If you have salt in the body, the salt will keep the water. It'll retain the water. If you don't have the salt, you just pee it out and you stay dehydrated. So actually, this is why it's very dangerous not to have enough electrolytes if you actually exercise hard and sweat a lot. The next most important electrolyte is potassium, and it is important because it acts、uh, similarly to sodium. Sodium attracts water in the extracellular fluid space, which is the fluid that's between cells.、Uh, potassium is the intracellular fluid space, so it's inside the cell where it actually attracts water into that. Together, they work well to keep the body hydrated. Another electrolyte that's important is magnesium. And that's、uh, used a lot in muscle contraction. So、uh, lots of cramps that happen could be due to an insufficient、uh, magnesium amounts.、Um, however, when people exercise,、uh, it's not that they lose magnesium. It's it's more likely that the magnesium gets reshuffled into different compartments in the body. So、uh, if you don't get magnesium in the electrolyte drink that you're drinking, it's actually not such a big deal. The studies show it's not、uh, as important. As the other two, so in summary, guys, the most important electrolyte, if you're going to choose an electrolyte drink, is sodium, and this can be done even by making just salt water at home. It's just that it might not taste so good, and this is the reason why a lot of sports drinks companies they don't actually have a lot of sodium in their electrolyte drink because it's not as palatable. It doesn't taste good, and if it doesn't taste good, it's not going to sell. So you can make it at home,、uh, but that is the key ingredient that you do want to include. And lastly, the fluid volume replacement.、Um, a lot of people say that it's important that you drink as much fluid as you lose, like one to one. But in fact, that's not correct. You should actually be drinking more than you sweat out, because even after a lot of exercise, your body is still removing a lot of metabolites and metabolic wastes through urine, and that. If you don't drink enough water, you won't be able to do that well, and so you want to drink even more water to ensure that even after exercise, you can still expel all the waste. So that's it, guys. I hope you found that useful. Please leave me any questions or comments below, and I'll see you next time.